Hi and welcome back to my channel for a new art channel process. I used the textured mushrooms today to create an autumn themed page. I really enjoy using autumn colors in my artwork. I'm working in my envelope art journal. I have a video linked in the info box where you can watch the making of such a journal. Um, I have chiseled my pages and I start by stamping a little bit of texture to it. Um, that's something I hate about the uh, easy mount. When it becomes older and I don't take care if I make it a little bit dirty or something like that and this doesn't stick anymore to any acrylic block. I try to clean it, I clean the block, but it doesn't work. So our newer stamps have all the sticky backside and you can just use a wet baby wipe and wipe the stamp backside and clean your acrylic block of course and the stamp will adhere itself on the acrylic block. If this doesn't work good for you, you can also use a normal glue stick and stick the stamp temporary to your acrylic block and that's uh, better than using the easy mount I believe. I really like to use the easy mount on larger stamps such as our mix the sentiment stamp because then it's easier to stamp. By the way the stamp set that I'm using is the carved whimsy wood stamp set. I now go in with the deco art media texture paste and I'm using a stencil from Stamperations. Oh no, I forgot, it's not the texture paste, I'm using the crackle paste and one tip I can give you, if you buy crackle paste, use it. Don't store it forever because it becomes uh, dry and you see it here, it's a really hard and dry paste already and it also doesn't crack anymore. To color in the background, I'm using watercolors. Watercolors are not the best to work on gesso, but I really like the movement they have and I enjoy the behavior of these colors. And as I know that I won't go on top with many other things, it's easy to use them. I dry the paints in between when I change um, the color tones or the colors that don't mix well together because I don't want to create too many browns and grays.
I've stamped the textured mushrooms onto watercolor paper. I believe I used the Canson XL watercolor paper and I color them in with watercolors. That's a process that I really enjoy. It's very relaxing and I love to color in stamps with uh, any kind of mediums. After everything is dry, I want to add a little bit of gold shimmer to the um, stenciled leaves. I'm using some gold acrylic paint together with a sponge and I line up the stencil again with my pattern and add just a little bit of shimmer to the leaves. I'm adding some black splatters with an acrylic paint spray. I've also colored in two bigger mushrooms and I am arranging it to my page and glue them down with just some liquid glue. I 
I'm also using the watercolors to add a bottom and a little bit of shadows to the mushrooms to create more dimension. I finish up the page by adding a sentiment that I've stamped with the Mixer Sentiment stamp set. And this is my finished page. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you see us next time. Bye!